Luke chapter 16 and verse 10. Luke 16 अध्याय 10 वां वचन में Jesus said something very powerful. He says, "He who is faithful in least is faithful also in much." और यीशु ने कुछ बहुत ही सामर्थ्यशाली कहा कि जो थोड़े में विश्वास योग्य है वो ज़्यादा में भी विश्वास योग्य है. And who is unjust in what is least or little is unjust in also in much. और जो थोड़े से थोड़े में अधर्मी है वो बहुत में भी अधर्मी है. You know, Jesus is. Showing us some principle over here. और यहाँ पर यीशु हमें कुछ सिद्धांत बता रहा है। He says that little things can make a significant impact in your life. और वो कहता है कि जो छोटी-छोटी बातें हैं आपके जीवन पर प्रभाव डाल सकती हैं। Too often, और बहुत बार, we get frustrated by the lack of change in our lives. हमारे जीवन में जो बदलाव नहीं होता है उसके कारण हम बहुत निराश हो जाते हैं। And we don't see any dramatic changes happening. हम अपने जीवन में ऐसे अधिक बदलाव को नहीं देखते हैं। Attracted by the big stuff. हम बड़ी-बड़ी बातों को आकर्षित हो जाते हैं। Little things don't matter to us anymore. हमारे ये छोटी-छोटी बातें मायने नहीं रखती हैं। But God is a God of the little things. लेकिन परमेश्वर छोटी-छोटी बातें का परमेश्वर है। See what this word says right now. और देखो ये वचन क्या कहता है। Who is faithful in little? और वो कहता है कि जो थोड़ी-थोड़ी बातों में विश्वास करते हैं। Measure your faithfulness. परमेश्वर आपकी विश्वास योग्यता को कैसे उसने जोता है? How does God see that you're really serious about what you're doing? और परमेश्वर कैसा देख कैसे देख पाता है कि जो आप कर रहे वो सच में गंभीर रीति से कर रहे हैं? He sees, he 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 checks your progress, your faithfulness in little. Say it loudly, little. वो आपकी बढ़ोतरी को आप ये छोटी-छोटी बातों में जानता है। And yet we get frustrated when we don't see the big stuff, the big money, the big things happening in our lives. और तब भी लेकिन हम बड़ी-बड़ी चीजों को अपने जीवन में नहीं होते हुए देखते तो हम बहुत ही निराश हो जाते हैं। One young lady wrote to me. और एक जवान महिला ने मुझे लिखा। She said, Pastor Mike. उसने कहा, Pastor Mike. Over the last week. और पिछले हफ्ते। I've lost only one kg and sometimes it doesn't even show. और मैंने सिर्फ एक ही kg खोया और कभी-कभी वो दिखता भी नहीं है। After two weeks, she wrote back to me and says, Pastor Mike, thank you for your prayers, but I'm really frustrated and I've lost only one kg. और दो हफ्ते पहले उसने लिखा कि धन्यवाद, Pastor Mike, आपके प्रार्थना के लिए, लेकिन मैंने सिर्फ एक ही kg खोया है। She said, I've been hitting the gym every every day. वो कहती कि हर रोज मैं gym जा रही हूँ। I I I want to get married. और मैं शादी करना चाहती हूँ। And I I I was wondering what to write to her. और मैं सोच रहा था मैं उसे क्या लिखूँ। And the Holy Spirit said. और पवित्र आत्मा ने कहा। Write this down. ये इसे लिख लो। I wrote back. और मैंने फिर से लिखा। Says God is looking at you for your faithfulness in the little things. Keep doing what you're doing. Be faithful in the little. This week it's one. Next week it's one. But next week it may be two and so forth. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Are you there? You know many of you start. Praying. आप प्रार्थना करना शुरू करते हैं। And you you start like with 15 minutes. फिर 15 मिनट के साथ आप शुरुआत करते हैं। And you you're praying for like a month or so, and you're so faithful in giving God the 15 or 20 minutes. और फिर आप इतना विश्वास योग्य बन जाते हैं उस 15 बीस मिनट को देने के लिए। You're so consistent with that time for God. और परमेश्वर के लिए वो समय में आप बहुत ही ध्यान देते हैं। You get up in the morning, the first thing you're doing is giving that 20 minutes. That's insignificant, half in 30 minutes to God. और सुबह उठकर पहले आप वो 15 बीस मिनट, 30 मि� and suddenly you hear about this great man of God. फिर इस परमेश्वर के महान जन के बारे में आप सुनते हैं। All women of God. या फिर परमेश्वर के महिला के। Who says he or she prays for like six hours? और जो कहती है कि वो या वो छह घंटों तक प्रार्थना करते हैं। And suddenly, फिर अचानक से। You feel like an Israelite. You feel, oh my goodness, I'm just a grasshopper. आपको ऐसे लगता है कि मैं बहुत ही छोटा व्यक्ति हूँ। आपको Israeli जैसा महसूस होता है। Or somebody you meet in church. और फिर किसी से कल घंटे प्रार्थना करती हूँ वो कहती है कि तीन घंटे प्रार्थना करती हूँ। Three hours। तीन घंटे हैं। And 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 she asks you or he asks you how much do you pray? Um well never mind। फिर वो आपसे पूछते हैं आप कितना प्रार्थना करते हैं। How many of you being what I'm saying? You 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 feel so so down. He says my goodness, does even God really care about my twenty minutes or thirty minutes that I give him? तो आपको ऐसे लगता है क्या परमेश्वर मेरे 15-20 मिनट के लिए मायने रखता है परमेश्वर के लिए वो सब। You meet that super Christian in the meeting today। और वो महान आप मसीह व्यक्ति से मिलते हैं सभा में। And you just bump into that person। और उस व्यक्ति से आप मुलाकात करते हैं। And and she tells you how good she read 20 chapters today। और फिर वो आपको बताती है उन्होंने कैसे 20 अध्याय पढ़ा आज। And you're like my goodness। फिर हम सोचते हैं। I just read one chapter। मैंने सिर्फ एक ही अध्याय पढ़ा। I want to tell you this is a word for somebody. Don't 
Put yourself down. Don't feel rejected. Don't feel that God is not interested. God is a God who will use the little to do big things in your life. Give him praise in the house, somebody. Yes. Be faithful in what you're doing. Consistency is a key, brother. God is looking for that consistency. He's not looking for you to pray for seven hours once a year and you don't pray the whole year. Maybe you are that person who's giving 30 minutes daily consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Be consistent in what you're doing. Look at the scripture right now. He says, He who is faithful, lift your hand and say, Lord, you are the God of little things. Maybe you're giving to, uh, you're offering, you know, like the widow's might, it's so small. And the neighbor next to you whips out like in a two two thousand rupee note. Like, you know, like, like, you know, like, and you look at my goodness, like you know. That guy gives once a year. But you, you're giving it consistently. No matter it is little, God will use your little to do big things. Somebody give like you a clap offering like your crazy. Don't put yourself down. Be faithful in that little. Does God really care? This is my contribution, whether in prayer, Fasting, it does it make a difference? Oh yes. Huh. He's looking for that faithfulness. Don't underestimate the power of little things. Don't underestimate it. You know, Jesus used, you know, a, a, a small boy's tiffin box. We all know that five loaves and two fish and he fed so many people. That we don't hear about the boy crying, they took my tiffin box, this crazy Peter, you know. No, no. He just gave it. He says, God, if you can use this little please use it for your glory today I want you to make that prayer many of you think you are nobody me God can you use me me this me maybe you can use Pastor Michael no but me sitting in the corner somewhere can you use me? क्या तू मेरा इस्तेमाल कर सकता है? The fact is yes. सच्चा ये है कि हाँ. God can use even the little for His glory. परमेश्वर थोड़ी को भी इस्तेमाल कर सकता है उसकी महिमा के लिए. Will you give it to Him today? क्या उसे आप देंगे आज? And I've seen people, I've seen people write to me and say, Pastor Mike, don't worry. You see, when I have the big box, you know that time I'll give to the Lord. No, my friend, give Him. The little now. Don't take the pastor. 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 Open your mouth and say, God of the little, hallelujah. But you see, there has to be a willingness to let go of that little. God used a little stone. He didn't use a big boulder. Imagine David running with a boulder, you know, like that. God used a small stone. But you see, that stone, that little, was backed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Write this down. God can use little to accomplish great things. Are my prayers making a difference? I want to encourage everyone over here. Your prayers are making a difference. You know, many people, they pray and they just give up. Some Christians, they're just going from service to service, from one man of God to another man of God. You know? 
They don't understand. वो समझते नहीं हैं. That God can use little. कि परमेश्वर थोड़े का इस्तेमाल कर सकता है. Go with me to Romans, please. Romeo में हम जाएंगे. Twelve, please. Romeo बारह अध्याय. And verse three. So he says, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Everyone say, God has dealt to each one. परमेश्वर ने सबके साथ बर्ताव किया है. A measure of faith. विश्वास. Ah. Now some people say. और कुछ लोग कहते हैं. I don't have faith. मैं पर विश्वास नहीं है. That's a wrong statement. और ये गलत बात है. God has given to each man a measure of faith. Maybe to your neighbor he's given a big amount of faith. Maybe you have a little amount of faith, but the fact is everyone has faith. और परमेश्वर ने सबको विश्वास दिया हो सकता है आपके पड़ोसी के पास ज़्यादा विश्वास है, आपके पास थोड़ा विश्वास है, लेकिन परमेश्वर ने सबके पास विश्वास दिया है. Do you know how faith works? क्या आप जानते हैं विश्वास कैसे कार्य करता है? It doesn't matter how big a faith your neighbor has and how small a faith you have. The important thing is even if your faith is little, you need to use that measure of faith. इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि कितना बड़ा विश्वास आपके पड़ोसी के पास है या कितना थोड़ा आपके पास है, लेकिन उस थोड़े विश्वास का इस्तेमाल कैसे करते हैं उससे फर्क पड़ता है। You see, Peter was not a perfect man like us. We are also in the same category. But you see, Jesus said, "Come, Peter," and and he says, "Nobody in the entire Bible has walked on water." And here I am trying to do something stupid. Thomas Mann says, "Dubega, dubega, dubega, do." And with that little faith. He stepped on the water. और पत्रस जो है यीशु ने जब उसे बुलाया उस थोड़े विश्वास के साथ उसने पानी पर कदम रखा. Anybody can give summons. और कोई भी ऐसे प्रचार कर सकता है. कोई भी प्रचार कर सकता है. इधर उधर आज YouTube है, you Google है, क्या क्या नहीं है. मेरा प्रचार थोड़ा घुमा के इधर थोड़ा मसाला मार के ये लोग तेरा तो मार. No. But listen to me. लेकिन सुनिए. Where your faith is seen is where you act on the word. जब आप वचन पे कार्य करते हैं तब आपका विश्वास देखा जाता है. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is where many people are sitting in the boat. Many people are just so comfortable in the boat. You have big titles, my friend. इसलिए बहुत सारे लोग नाव में ऐसे आराम तक महसूस करके बैठे हैं. Listen to me. सुनिए. Just step out. अपने थोड़े विश्वास का इस्तेमाल करके बाहर कदम रखो. Are you there right now? क्या आप हो वहाँ पर? God's word says to you, give. परमिश का वचन आपसे कहता है दो. You look at your fifty rupee. And said, "This God can use." Yeah. आप पचास रुपए नोट को देखकर कहते क्या परमिशन इसका इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं? Fasting. Oh, they are fasting forty days. God can use my one day of fast. Yes, He can use even your one day of fasting. परमिशन आपके एक दिन के उपास प्रार्थना को भी स्वीकार कर सकता है. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I've heard that fellow prays three hours. Will God use my twenty minutes? Yes. Night before you sleep, go on your knees and pray for twenty minutes. You will wake up with something big in your life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. घुटनों पर जाकर बीस मिनट प्रार्थना करो आप आप कुछ बड़ा महसूस करो. You use that little faith. उस थोड़ी सी विश्वास का आप इस्तेमाल करते हैं। Go and lay it on sick people। उसे बीमारी बीमार लोगों पर डालो। Don't wait for Pastor Michael। Don't wait for somebody else to come and say, Oh Pastor, can you please come? Can you please come as Taoist? You know? Pastor Michael या किसी और का इंतजार मत करो कि वो आकर प्रार्थना करे। You don't need the guy. Just take those little hands। उन छोटे हाथों को लीजिए। And lay on that person। और उस व्यक्ति पर रखिए। And you'll be surprised। और आप अचम्मित हो जाएंगे। What will happen through you? आपके जरिए। Lift your hand and say, I receive this word today। अपने हाथ उठाकर कर मैं इस वचन को स्वीकार करता हूँ। Use that little faith। उस थोड़ी से विश्वास का इस्तेमाल कीजिए। प्रभु छोटे चीजों को इस्तेमाल करता है। You know, प्रभु यीशु मसीह ने बीज के बारे में कहा। किसके बारे में कहा? इतना बड़ा परमेश्वर इतनी छोटी-छोटी चीजों के बारे में बात करता है। जरा सोचने वाली बात है। हम लोग है ना हमेशा इम्प्रेस करने के लिए आ मेरा पांच करोड़ अटका है। हम लोग हमेशा है ना बड़े-बड़े चीजों की बात करते हैं। मेरा यू नो लाइक यू नो सपोज भी आते हैं एयरपोर्ट ना हाँ बीएमडब्ल्यू गा� we have to enough. Always we want to show our bigness, but God always operates with the little things. हम अपनी बड़ी बातों को दिखाते हैं, लेकिन परमेश्वर छोटी चीजों के जरिए काम करता है। Tell somebody and say, don't give up, my friend. Hallelujah. किसी को छुपकर कहे हार मत मानिए। Come on, every great journey begins with a little step. हर एक महान यात्रा जो है छोटे-छोटे कदम के साथ शुरू होती है। You're doing that business, maybe it's a small word about business. मतलब माज़े वर्ड अपन से business है, हर सब कितनी मोटे business है। Hey, तू जा रोकड़ा पैसा है तो। तेरा साठ दिन सन अंतर पैसे आता है। We always thinking big, big, big। हम बड़ी, बड़ी, बड़ी बातों के बारे में। May God give you a chain of वड़ा पाऊँ। Hallelujah। Shops in Jesus name। ईश्वर के नाम में। Start with that little। उस थोड़े के साथ शुरुआत करें। And when God's blessing comes on the little। और जब परमेश्वर की आशीष उस थोड़े पर आती है। It will glorify God। Hallelujah। तो परमेश्वर को महिमा। Lift your hand and give him a shout, somebody। आज उठाकर इस स्तुति 
encourage you. आपको उत्साहित करना चाहता हूँ. Don't wait for the big stuff. Don't wait for the mountain to fall. You know. बड़ी-बड़ी बातों का इंतजार मत कीजिए. इंतजार मत कीजिए कि पार्टी ना. Moving the rock. उस पत्थर को हिलाना शुरू कीजिए. Why you move one rock? I move one rock. Hey, Shonu, get up. Get up now. Don't sleep. It's ten o'clock. You know. Tell every one of your family members to move, move one one rock, and tomorrow morning the whole mountain has moved out. और आपने परिवार लोगों से कहा ये कि पत्थर हटाने के लिए और अगले साल वो पूरा पहाड़ नीचे गिर जाएगा. Later. थोड़ी थोड़ी सी. Jesus. Use your little faith. आपने थोड़े से विश्वास का इस्तेमाल कीजिए आज. नहीं मेरा विश्वास डगमगा रहा है. डगमगा नहीं दे. You know, God used trembling saints and shivering saints to beat up the devil. Come on. परमेश्वर ऐसे कांपते हुए संतों का इस्तेमाल करते हैं शैतान को मारने के लिए. The Bible says, serve the Lord with fear and trembling. Bible कहती है कि परमेश्वर की सेवकाएं करो डर के साथ. डर के साथ और हिलिंग के. कांपते हुए. कांपते हुए. सोचो ना जरा. पर वो ऐसे लोगों को इस्तेमाल करते हैं शैतान को वाट लगाने के लिए. And you are the person. और आप वो व्यक्ति हैं. God use me. Of course, He will use you. I see like Gopi, Gopi, like G, 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 G. Yeah, my son Gopi. Your son. Yeah, and he was here last year. Ah, do I know you personally? <laughs> it's okay. They are first timers. They don't know anything. <laughs> I see a financial breakthrough coming in your family. <laughs> As I speak right now, there's a curse breaking in both of your families today in Jesus' name. Today as you go from here, the Holy Spirit told me to come and pray. Do you know there's something similar between you and her? God is about to do something big in your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why I'm hearing the word Kotya, 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 Kotya. Something like January, January, I don't know whether it's you or you. The Lord is telling me to tell you right now, there is a financial breakthrough coming, yeah. especially in your life, Thank especially you. in this woman's life, that everything that was stuck up for yeah. three years, eight months, it's the Lord is being releasing that from both of you today in Jesus' name. <laughs> I break the curse over your life right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come. The blessing of the Lord. The Lord is touching another woman in your family. Today, God is blessing her amazingly in the name of Jesus. I break every curse over your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I see a metro station near your house. Yeah, seven metros. Do you have a metro station near your house? Can we have a metro station? Do you have a metro station near? Do you have a metro station near? Do you have a metro station near your house? You, you metro station, metro station, metro station, metro station. Alpha, sabka pagar mein hi go hai. There's a metro station near your house. Yeah. Your house is near a metro station. That house you're planning to dispose it of. Yeah. But yes, yes. Yes. I'm looking to change for a change of my house. Really? Yeah. Yesterday I decided I am shifting to a new place on rent, and I will be soon buying, planning to change. God has approved it in Jesus' name. Bless you in Jesus' name. So Ashish, they know Yeshu ki naam. Break through in your life. Somebody give Jesus a shout. Oh Yeshu, so that you too give it. Don't worry, you will come with joy. I'm Amitya. Come here. Your daughter is being highly favored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Your daughter is going to be connected to to different places like you never even thought of before right now. Or आपकी जो बेटी अलग अलग जगहों से जुड़ने वाली है जो आपने सोचा भी नहीं. Again, I'm seeing that quote here. Colonel, my husband had retired from army as a colonel. As a colonel. Yeah. Oh he's here. C O. Yeah. C O L. C O L. Yeah. Ah, it is not C O L. Colonel. Colonel, sir, come here. Wow, what a privilege, Colonel, sir, come here. Give him a big hand. 
You have a son. You said you have a son. You have a daughter. Son and a daughter. Because you came to the house of the Lord. Because you came to the house of the Lord. I saw flowers being released for your daughter in Jesus' name. There will be good news related to your daughter in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Colonel, that's it. The Lord is blessing your daughter with, with such a blessing. I see. I see. I don't know whether it's September or it's in March. My son Gautam was born on 8th September. September, that's right. In the name of Jesus. You're being relocated out of this place to a different place in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anybody like Kariyappa? Kari? General Kariyappa. Who's General Kariyappa? He was the army chief. No, connected with you. Do you know him? No. What? He, he was our army chief, you know, General Kariyappa. I don't know what. He's not connected or related to me otherwise. But I'll tell you what. Today God showed me some papers regarding your papers. I see. I see three properties the Lord is bringing upon your life because you have decided to go into real estate. Amen. This is what you decided. I'm planning to share. No, no, no. You're planning. You're planning. But did you write it on a piece of paper? No, no, no. I didn't write it. You told our volunteers. No. The Lord is saying, I am approving this in Jesus' name. God is changing your whole family, sir, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ouch. I break the power of the devil over your life. I'll do, I'll do small today. Thank you, Lord. It's Hema. Hurry up. from Andheri. She had bad sprain three weeks back and couldn't move her arm at all. Pastor, you had asked. Wait, wait, wait. What, what happened, ma'am? Uh, three weeks uh, before I was trying to come over here, I huh. got an accident. You had an accident? Yeah. Uh, what kind of accident, ma'am? I was driving Activa and the auto wale ne mujhe thok diya and just I fell down. So, there was a machine that was uh, uh, road, road machine. Hota hai na, I fell down on that. Jesus. So, that uh, no kota na, he just spoke my hand uh. and I got very badly hurt. And that day I wanted to come over here, huh. Saturday. Okay. So I, I can't take any medicine because I have some allergy problem. So I you can't, can't take medicine also. So I can't take any medicine. So I uh, before that one day I saw your uh, message in the YouTube. Doctor uh, uh, stitch कर सकता है, medicine लेकर दे सकता है, लेकिन चंगाई नहीं दे सकता है, something like that. Yeshu ही चंगाई दे सकता है. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hand and shout the amen. मैं भी हाथ बाग चिल्लाया मैं. My hands is absolutely right. Wow. Give me a five, man. Come on, give Jesus a shout. This is wonderful. I wanted to speak to you about your marriage. Yeah, actually... Actually, that's the problem. <laughs> Can I just say one prayer? Yeah, yeah. Can I pray the Lord heal your marriage? God is touching your marriage. There's, there's a huge challenge in your marriage. You are like, chodu, pakdo, chodu, pakdo. Huh? Is this true? What do you want me to pray? Can I say, Lord, touch your marriage? Yes. Lord, touch your marriage, oh God. And God's people said, Out in Jesus' name. Maria, and that is her daughter. Maria All right. This testimony is of Maria's sister. Maria's sister. Okay. Maria's sister was married for five years. But she was unable to conceive a child since five years. Maria prayed for her sister and she would claim the healing over her sister whenever uh, Pastor Michael would pray in FBM. And she is wonderful your... sister, praise God. Okay. She is here to testify that her sister is blessed with a beautiful baby girl. Come on! Hey! Wow! That's wonderful. The second testimony is of her daughter. Her daughter testifies that she has passed her TYBA graduation with excellent marks and she has obtained a A plus grade. You know, God has brought you this far. 
It's a miracle. Every demonic power harassing this girl, I command it to go in Jesus' name. There is something living, there is something living your daughter. There is something living your daughter. May you climb even higher in Jesus name. I release this grace upon your life. In Jesus name. Confusion from your life is leaving. I pray. Now can I pray now? Let her spiritual eyes open in Jesus name. Whether my husband went missing on April 13th. Wait, wait. Husband went missing? Yeah. On April 13th he left in the morning. It was already. And he went missing. Then we couldn't I mean, there was no contact at all. And on the 15th, we located him and he had reached Daman. And this is all due to amnesia, that is due to have loss of memory. And he's still under that thing. But praise God, he came back. We could really remember my number and everything. He lost his bike, he had lost his mobile, everything. You know, like uh, he was only calling me in between. It was on a Saturday. He lost his memory. Yeah, for the time being it was. It was an episode where he lost his memory. And on Sunday, when we left for the prayer meeting, he called me. I said, okay, you come to Bandra, we are going for the vow service. He said, okay, I'm coming. But still, he didn't turn up. Then again, he called back. He had reached Wapi that time. And this happened. Like, and then this mobile was switched off. I could not get any contact. So I went and complained at the MIDC police station. And then it had, you know, it was under process. Then on Monday morning, he calls me saying that he is beached somewhere, but he does not know where. So then I told God, somebody pray for, no wonder. The Lord is telling me, pray for this woman. Do I know all this? No brother, nothing, nothing. There's a demonic power leaving your family today in Jesus' name. I'm serious. I don't know anything about this. The Lord is, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Your press has been heard before the throne of God. Sheet of paper, something, no. something, something. No. God has heard your prayer. You are connected to the team. The anointing is on you. I'm sorry, but 